I'm Mike Tolliver for ICOC Hot News. Recently in Los Angeles, our ICOC cooperation committees met to work on things ranging from summits and campus conferences to Hope Worldwide and our singles ministries. We thought you'd want the inside scoop on what's going on in your church behind the scenes. Greetings from Los Angeles, California. We're here at the 2013 International Churches of Christ Leadership Conference, which consists of uh, three committees, the Elders Committee, the Evangelist Committee, and the Teachers Committee, uh, which are representative leaders with those gifts from around the world. Uh, our purpose for being here is to allow the gifts from these three committee to be combined in uh, making our plans for what we believe God wants us to do around the world. Uh, in terms of Hope Worldwide, it's been an incredible time to really discuss where can we go in the future to help the poor more effectively. Currently, Hope Worldwide serves over two million people around the world. And this week we've been talking about a vision to do even more with regard to helping the poor. We've talked about how we can make our Hope Youth Corps more effective and so that we can have more of our young people participate in the Youth Corps experience. The Women's Service Committee is eager to serve the churches all around the world just in seeing the women's ministry grow stronger. We've currently been gathering best practices on a curriculum for, curriculum for women, for leadership training, Kids Kingdom, and for single women. And we're using the portal of Disciples Today, the women's section, Women Today, to really disperse that information and to really inspire and instruct women throughout the world. One thing we're really excited about is the One Year Challenge, the, the OYC. And uh, this last year in, in San Antonio at the summit, we had over 350 college students attend a little mixer. We weren't sure quite how many would show up. 30 plus site coordinators showed up. And right now, there's approximately 100 different college students all around the world and around the country giving one year of their lives uh, to see God do something uh, in the kingdom. People have gone all around to, to Africa, to Europe, and, and all around the country on some of these plantings. And so God is doing great things. At Disciples Today, we're really excited to introduce to the world our 3.0 version of disciplestoday.org. I want to encourage you to go on the website and see our brand new look. We've reorganized, redesigned almost all of our websites, and we've brought them in a much clearer format to make it easier for you to find out information about whatever ministry you're interested in. I'm leaving this conference incredibly inspired. I really feel like that God is going to take us to a new level in the teaching ministry. Right now we have ministry training academies that are being established in all of our family of churches across the world and we are coming together tomorrow to talk about the unified curriculum for those ministry training academies. Finally, we're very thankful to God that he's raised up elders by his spirit in churches around the world. We have over 150 elders now worldwide, elderships with uh, over 60 churches, and uh, many more planning to appoint elders this coming year. Uh, there have been newly appointed elders in uh, London, uh, in Singapore, in Hong Kong, and uh, we're just excited about that continuing to expand around the world. We hope you've enjoyed going behind the scenes and seeing what's going on with our ICOC Cooperation Committee work. Coming up from ICOC Hot News soon, stay tuned for on location videos from the Caribbean, Central America, and news from around the world. God bless, we'll see you back at the website.